Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. This is your Manchester United vs Burnley preview. It's the Carabao Cup fourth round. It's at Old Trafford. It's Wednesday the 21st of December and it's an 8 o'clock kickoff. Burnley, of course, are in the Championship, the top of the Championship. I do know players that Burnley have got. They've got Nathan Teller, Scott Twinney, Jay Rodriguez, Ashley Barnes, Match Vidra, Marcel Lewis, Josh Brownhill, Ashley Westwood, Connor Roberts, Charlie Taylor, Manuel Benson, Jack Cork. So they are some players that Burnley have got. Let me put into the equation that Burnley have lost players. Don't forget they lost Ben Mee. He went to Brentford from Burnley. They lost James Tarkovsky. They lost Dwight McNeil. They lost Chris Wood. Um, he went to Newcastle from Burnley. So yeah, they are some players that Burnley have lost. The Burnley manager is Vincent Company. He got appointed in as the Burnley manager back in June this year. So he's been the Burnley manager now for around six months. When he got officially appointed in as the Burnley manager, he signed what a four or a five year contract. Vincent Company replaced Sean Deitch. Burnley decided to part ways with Sean Deitch, was it back in April? So Sean Deitch was a very long serving manager at Burnley. Uh, Vincent Company, before Burnley, he was player manager at Anderlecht. Now, the last time Man United played Burnley at Old Trafford, Manchester United won by three goals to one. Uh, don't forget, was it back in 2020 now? Burnley won 2 0 at Old Trafford. That was the first time they'd won at Old Trafford in like 58 years. Uh, Man United have obviously lost their last two games. Uh, the other week lost 1-0 to Real Betis and lost 4-2 to Cadiz. Uh, we do have some players missing at the moment. Uh, Varane, he's unavailable at the moment. Uh I'm hearing that Lissandro Martinez is unavailable at the moment. They're expected to be back for the game against Wolves. Uh, Diego Dallo is now out with injuries out until January. Uh, Jaden Sancho, he's been unavailable. Uh, not so long ago, Eric Tenag revealed that Jaden Sancho is not physically or mentally ready 
to play. Uh, Ten Hag is unsure when Jadon Sancho will make his Manchester United return. Axel Tuanzebe, um, he's still out with injury, but he doesn't get in the team anyway. Um, on another video, I will be giving you my predictions for this game and I also will be giving you my predicted 11. Now, revert back to my last video, I give you an update on some more transfer news. He said Man United willing to commit 200 million to sign Bellingham and De Jong. Manchester United have entered the race for Jude Bellingham and aim to beat Liverpool and Man City for the England star. Now, not so long ago, it actually did mention that Man United pulled out of the race for Jude Bellingham. Uh, Jude Bellingham is expected to cost around one hundred million. Uh, Jude Bellingham is at Borussia Dortmund. He's been at Borussia Dortmund since twenty twenty. Borussia Dortmund got him from Birmingham City for an initial fee of twenty five million. At the time, Bellingham became the most expensive 17-year-old in history. Bellingham is under contract with Borussia Dortmund until 2025. Uh, like I've said before, you know, Borussia Dortmund have lost quite a lot of players. Uh, they lost Jadon Sancho to Man United last year. They lost Erling Haaland to Man City. They lost Christian Pulisic to Chelsea. They lost Robert Lewandowski. Uh, a lot of years ago, lost Sinji Kagwa. So, they are some players that Dortmund have lost. And Frankie Dion, he's open to an Old Trafford move in a stunning U-turn. Um, it's mentioned from the BBC that Frankie Dion is still a target for Eric Ten Hag. Well, earlier on this year, you know, Frankie Dion was Eric Ten Hag's number one transfer target. Uh, obviously, it did mention that Eric Ten Hag wanted a reunion with Frankie Dion because Ten Hag worked with Frankie Dion when he was at Ajax. Frankie Dion is at Barcelona. He's been at Barcelona since 2019. So he's been with them for over three years now. He's under contract with Barcelona until 2026. Barcelona got him for around 65 million from Ajax. Frankie Dion is a versatile midfielder. And you know the news regarding Cody Gakpo. Uh, Jason Burt from The Telegraph said the other day that Cody Gakpo wants to join Man United and work under Eric Ten Hag and Man United are planning a €50 million Euro bid for Cody Gakpo once the January transfer window opens. PSV won, you know, around €40 million, which is a club record deal. Cody Gakpo has been Man United's number one January transfer target. But it's not long now until the January transfer window opens. You know, the January transfer window will be Eric Ten Hag's second transfer window as Man United manager. You know, so far he's enjoyed one transfer window and he's brought six additions to the squad. You know, he brought Terrell Malassi in, Christine Eriksen, Martinez... Casemiro, Anthony and Dubravka. Ten Hag has spent over £200 million since he became Man United manager. Let me put into the equation that Eric Ten Hag has also let players go as well. And um, 
on my last video I gave you the news regarding the Glazers. Um, Avram Glazer is said to have held talks with investors from Saudi and Qatar. Uh, not so long ago, it said that Amazon were interested in buying Man United from the Glazer family. Amazon is an American multinational technology company. Uh, a few weeks ago now, it said Apple were interested in buying Man United. Man United. Uh, for quite some time, Sir Jim Ratcliffe's been interested in buying the club. Uh, Ortega's been interested in buying Man United as well. The Glazers want to sell Manchester United this season. A deal is likely to be done by March if the club's to be sold this season. So Man United should have new owners by the end of the season. The Glazers have set an asking price of between 6 to £7 million to sell Manchester United. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for 17 years. They purchased the club for around £790 million back in 2005. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.